G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is an instigating Western Revolve with bullets exploding for area damage as a secondary legendary effect. I'll stop moving it around because it's in seizure vision right now. I've got no control over that. I was trying to record something. The server crashed, as per usual. Anyway, so as you can tell, it's got the American paint on it, and there's like a 76 under the tactical rail here. Um, yeah, you can see it right there. So, yeah, thanks, game. I was wondering what I was playing, but yeah... I'm feeling a little bit of that American patriotism, except not really. The stars and stuff are kind of cool in the grip there, but you'll never see them when you're actually holding the weapon because they'll be covered by your hands and the stripes are... I mean, they're stripes. What else can I say about that? Unfortunately, the reflex sight doesn't actually get any textures. That's just kind of normal sitting there looking all generic and stuff. That's not too bad. 107 damage with this thing with the severe receiver. For some reason, the severe receiver does more than the hardened receiver, and it gives me extra critical damage, which is super good for a revolver like this, where I want to roll for as many criticals as I possibly can. Now, the instigating legendary effect synergizes pretty well with explosive for getting raw base damage, but if anything's too close to actually catch the base damage when I'm striking another target, that'll kind of screw us over. So we're going to pick out our targets, and if they're away from everything else, shoot them, and then we can get the best out of the instigating and the explosive legendary effect. It's an okay boost. It's not, like, game-changingly good, but we'll, we'll see how we go. We're going for a high health build, so we'll go, uh, we'll do away with the usual perks like Serendipity if we're trying to do a bloody approach to this. I kind of don't think we've got the staying power to actually do that, but if we get down and probably almost going to die, I probably won't hesitate to chuck a stim pack on. Quick hands is entirely useless. Um, we've got our um, luck tree set up for doing maximum criticals so we'll chuck on bloody mess for 15 percent more damage critical savvy synergize as well with four leaf clover to keep those criticals coming better criticals for extra damage we've got a bunch of unyielding stuff with ap refresher this is less important but it'll be nice if that gets a proc and now we're doing 216 damage what's that times two 432 that's pretty good Times that by two again for the sneak critical, and we're getting pretty good damage, but uh, we can only sneak for so long because of the absence of a muzzle attachment and a shush tube on it, but we'll see how we go. Okay, so here we are at Todd's Redacted Dungeon, and here is the Western Revolver going for a, uh, the bomber jacket look here. I, I like this. It's not a super rare outfit, but it works well on Brook, I reckon. Anyway, so there's a super mutant. If we knock him in the head, sneak attack critical, 1000 damage, which is pretty good. And we'll get slightly more as we go along with ye old um, adrenaline, which um, I might switch out for covert operative if I've got a suppressed weapon, because... Technically, if I'm rolling the, if I'm doing the sneak attack criticals for 2.5, that's over the 48% extra damage that I get. Like, it beats it out by like 2%. But if I can continuously get criticals, um, sneak criticals happening, I'll get slightly more damage than I would otherwise, and I'd get it instantly as I'm actually hitting. But as you can tell, this thing so far is going all right. We're playing it kind of slow right now because it's a revolver. It is slow. But once we get inside, we might see this thing fall apart. But for now, she's doing just fine, the old revolver. Doing 331 damage, which is respectable, considering we're getting double that uh, six, uh, 662 for the uh, shots there. And of, of course, I'm hitting them in the head again. So, you know, there's an extra little bit of multiplication of that damage there, which is enough to make the super mutants go into their six-foot dirt nap. Oh, yes, we're missing our shots here. We've got to actually, yeah, I have got unyielding stuff, and it is helpful when I've got low health, because it gives me an extra perception boost, and just to give you an idea of the perception right now, I can't, because it's a super mutant running at me, but 16, that's okay, um, I've only got a base of 9, because I needed to pump all of my points into luck and agility to make this build work, but 16 is pretty good. And we've also got the um, shielded raided something. I think it's the raided others, which are the most hideous variant. I asked for a harness, damn it, and he didn't give me that. Bastard. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, yeah, we're doing good now. 342. That's uh, not bad. We're, we're creeping up the damage a little bit more with adrenal reaction. Okay, so we're about, I don't know, maybe the five or so minutes in where my viewership generally leads to, you know, average out. So I'm going to use this time to plug my XCOM playthrough. I've had a really good sesh. I mean, it was a good, it was a good time. We went to the, we went to the Chosen Warlock's house and we blew his brains out. You don't want to miss the next installment 
of um, my XCOM 2 playthrough because it's it's just really good. We had a really good run through that. But yeah, so we can chest shot these guys it seems and kill them. I'm gonna go for headshots because I need to flex my FPS skills and then miss a shot like that twice in a row. <laughs> as soon as I mention it. Yeah, you don't have to worry about aiming too much in XCOM. It's all about the big brain strats, man. It's so good. It's like a, it's like a breath of fresh air because I'm usually playing shooters all the time. And now we're... Whoops. And now we're slamming the side of the computer with my mouse, causing me to shoot myself with explosive damage. What are you laughing at, mate? Just because I'd shot myself. That's okay. We've got... We've got a little perk called... Ooh! We got him with explosive damage. There we go. Instigating explosive has some good synergies there, at least. The doggos don't have a whole lot of health about them. Alright. I think the better option for me here is to go for the guaranteed torso shots, yes. Um, missing too many times on this... Re I didn't even notice that guy. Yeah, missing too much. Too much with this revolver, which means I'm going to be... Um, very vulnerable when I'm rechambering and my DPS is going to slow down instrumentally. Luckily, these guys have got a great big set of mass, so I don't actually have to use that all that much. Doggo tried to disguise himself as a plant, and the plan, unfortunately, was working until he opened the door, which is impressive in, in itself, a dog being able to open a door, so good on him for that, but yeah, we kind of have to play this super slow. We do have the true barrel and the true grip on this, like you probably saw before. So we've got decent hip fire accuracy, which means we can go around and just, you know, hip fire this like some person would from New Vegas. There's a song about it, and it's like Blue Moon or something. I think that's the one. Bugger off, doggo. That actually might kill me. Fucking dog act, mate. Get out of here. It looks like the chest shots now are going to be enough to drop them with basically full adrenal reaction. And I've got Nerd Rage 2, don't I? Which is, you know, good for you know, sh uh, sh uh, shrugging off some of the damage, yeah. But we'll just take a peep at that damage before the thing wears off. So 480, so we're not getting terrible damage with this. We're a bee's dick away from dying in terms of the size of our health bar, but... Ah, she'll be right, mate. She'll be right. And I think... We're done here. Yeah, I'm not gonna go and fight those guys. We get the point where I'm one-shotting these guys now. Anyway, I'll probably die in there. Just a waste of time. Let's fight some tools. Okay, let's uh, continue this slaughter, and I'm just gonna top off my food bar. It'll get me a little bit of health back, which is nice, but if that drops below 75 and uh, I get hit, basically they kill me. Now, here's the play here. What I'm going to do is just run through, make a big old noise, wake all of these tools up, and then I'm going to run out the front door, and we'll take them on the dance floor, I reckon. And I've got a pretty... I'm feeling pretty good about this, because I've got Gun Fu, and this thing could probably one-shot every single ghoul that I see, especially if I can nail them in one shot with the, with the chest shots you see. Unnecessary jump there. Things are kind of manageable right now. If they're stuck together in a big group, however, we might see this thing fall behind a bit, especially if I get clever girl like that. I didn't even hear him. I need to turn up the game a little bit, actually, but yeah. No suppressor means low health builds are going to die quickly with this. I tried to push it as far as it could possibly go, and now we can't actually even one-shot these guys, which sucks. So you kind of need to boost the damage so you can actually one-shot them. Maybe the happy medium would be about 50% health, so you're getting a little bit of the bonus from this. Or you could just jump around like a fucking Fortnite scrub. Sure, let's do that. I've got super jumps now, and there's a legendary, so yes please, I'll take that. I really don't appreciate the tools being able to hit me, despite me being like... Let's use Imperial measurements so the American Patriots can understand many feet above them in the air. Don't appreciate that. Fix your fucking netcode, Bethesda. It's been shit for fucking weeks. And believe you me, I know about bad netcodes. I played Battlefield 3 for quite long enough. Disappointed that I wasn't able to one-shot that guy. Splash damage does nothing. Nothing, I tell ya. Don't you dare stagger me like that. See, he's breaking the same limb over and over, but it's healing over and over because of stim packs. But, yeah. I'm not impressed. 
I'm not impressed at all. There's radworms. That's okay. We're almost through these bastards anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, par for the course. The Western Revolver is never going to be good in a crowd control situation because it fires with the speed of this. That ain't breaking no DPS world records anytime soon. At least Fats is somewhat good with it. You know, if they gave you an ability to fan the hammer like you could with, like, Jacob's guns in the Borderlands series, that would be nice. We've got the punch to three shots one, which is good. See, the problem with revolvers in this game is they've just got shit DPS and no sneak potential, unless you use the pipe one, but that's slightly different. That is the superior revolver because you can use a suppressor, but if you're going for these, you know, high-level, hard-hitting pistols like this, you're better off using <laughs> my 9 perception points, put that into something like, come on concentrate fire, there you go. Putting that into something like commando and actually just using that instead. So we couldn't hit anything except for that one shot and then the wall hack because why not? Also a lot of these bastards are scorched, which is interesting. But yeah, they'll never have anything, that they haven't got a lot going going with them. Also, I'm not getting any explosive damage on this, which is upsetting. Might die because of de uh, damage over time here. I'd be annoyed if I did. The game decided that it's not going to annoy me any further. It is going to drop me missiles, though, which I'll foolishly pick up only to drop two seconds later. Take a weapon in the rifleman class with comparable stats. We'll, we'll go hunting rifle. Guess what? You get better range, the use of a suppressor. Scopes are generally more favorable because you can tune them to be long range or medium range if you feel like it. At least we're getting some use out of glow sight here. That's nice. But yeah, there's no... Also, the um, perception boosts damage rather than agility, which means for the hunting rifles, you can use your agility to boost other things to increase your damage. Like COVID Operative, Mr. Sandman, and the like. So, yeah, no reason to use these things over the hunting rifle. And honestly, the hunting rifle is just a terrible weapon anyway, so just, just go automatic. Just anything with fire rate is good. Eh? Like a mutant's fire rate combat rifle. That, that slaps harder than this. I mean, obviously not per shot, but in general DPS terms, sure, it's going to do very well. Um, just... I know I'm beating the the horse to death of revolvers bad, but what else can I say? I'm constantly underwhelmed by these things and just compared to other weapons, which I guess nothing can be as good as a handmade. I do accept that not all weapons are made equally, but at least give me some reason to use these revolvers. New Vegas did. You want some good sneak? Uh, you want some good crit multipliers? Not sneak multipliers, but crit multipliers. You, you use a revolver, you use a luck build. I'm trying to do that in Fallout 76, and it's not nearly as viable. So, um, just uh, some buffs, please, Bethesda. Uh, is anyone listening to me? No, it's just me. I think I just need to accept that the broader Fallout 76 community isn't actually interested in the dynamics of weapon balance, rather than they'd rather want to know what's on the fucking Atom Shop next or some stupid shit like that. Nice uh, double headshot on that fellow there. Uh, who's got the grenade launcher? I'd like to have a word with them. And the word comes in the form of a 44 magnum round to the face. Those are words you're always going to listen to. I'm not threatening you, Bethesda. That's just a comment about the power of this revolver and its ability to knock heads. Uh, it blows heads clean off. Something, something, Dirty Harry reference. What in the... What? Excuse me, where was the Sky Ranger? You don't drop them off from that high. Okay, so I think what happened there is the Scorched Beast did a hot drop of a bunch of Scorched as it, as I killed it, and they just kind of dropped from the sky. Ha! <laughs> That's hilarious. I wish I had been in a better mood. I probably would have uh, totally freaked out about that, but... That's Fallout 76, baby. Come on. Concentrate fire. Do your thing. I've got a critical. This is a guaranteed. There we go. Alright. What the fuck? If I did okay. Where in the hell did that Scorch Beast come from? Also, I, I switched to the wrong weapon. I, what, what even is this game? What am I doing here? This is just a very odd and buggy server, but 
We'll continue anyway. This uh, this squash base is going to be a major pain in my ass. You better land, you son of a bitch. Okay, that's good. Now let me fill you with explosive lead. Mm -hmm. I'm digging this damage. 146. I could be doing better with a super sledge right now. And you know what the best bit is? I'm completely unspecced for it. Yes, reload that. Let's get some gun fill action. There we go. What, am I getting snake criticals now? What is this? Alright, back off. Get away from me. Oh, I've got a big old hit bar for them to get through, so... Mm, hit point bar. So, we're okay. We just have to wait until they behave and plant their asses on the ground and stop fucking blinding me. God, I'm so glad I've got vats right now. Do you remember, this is, this is why they had to nerf Scorch Beast, because, um... They just fucking blind you with their attacks. It's uh, it's questionable decision. I've actually seen mods that change the um, Scorch Beast uh, Death Breath projectiles into um, like the Gamma Gun projectiles. We can actually see when they're shooting at you. The the screen shake doesn't help either, but that's just kind of icing on the cake. Get the fuck down here. There we go. All right, they uh, they have it. The instigating Western Revolver. It's it's all right. I'm not going to be doing much to this else other than probably hanging it on the wall and saying, hey, this is a weapon of novel value. It's a decently good roll. You'd, everything kind of lines up. It's a high damage weapon, and it's got explosives, so they synergize together pretty well. You've got the instigating, which boosts that high damage potential even more, but it's just slow. It's too goddamn slow. And that's the problem with revolvers. Most of them are too slow. Funny drop. I appreciate that. Anyways, if you like to see this thing in your game, in your game, regardless, I could probably sell it. Just I don't know, give me caps. Could use some caps. Thank you for watching, guys.